I, I think back to what this, the Tucson Basin looked like 200 years ago, and I imagine it used to be a true stream that flowed perennially through Tucson and supported fish and frogs and had giant cottonwoods and, and willow trees along the banks and mesquite bosque along the edges. And I think that's something I would like to try to work towards restoring. Shallow groundwater areas are areas where the water is within 50 feet of the ground surface. But you can tell there's water there, both because it's coming out of the wells, but also because oftentimes you'll find a ribbon of green, a whole bunch of trees lining that wash. So when shallow groundwater areas decline in the groundwater levels, this impacts the species that rely both on shallow groundwater as well as the aquatic species that rely on the surface flows. This is because the creek flows are intricately linked to the, the groundwater levels. These areas are the ones that the deer have to come down and drink. In, and the javelina and, ja and jaguars, mountain lions, ocelots all use these areas of shallow groundwater because there's water being expressed on the surface. There's drinking water out there and that's critically important in a desert environment to these critters. So I think a great question we should all ask ourselves is what is the story of our place? What is its essence? What makes it what it is? And then when we're asking that question, what is the story of our place? We should also ask ourselves, what is our role in that story? So one story, not the only story, of Tucson is the story of great loss. Tucson is the oldest continuously cultivated place in what is now the United States. For over 4,000 years, people have been continuously farming this area because of the once much more readily accessible local water resources. Namely, the Santa Cruz River behind me uh, used to ro flow year-round uh, through uh, the downtown Tucson area. Um, now it only flows for a couple days after a good storm. Why this change? It's because we've over-pumped or over-consumed our groundwater at a rate that exceeds natural recharge. So this is a depressing story. And if we just consume water in an unconscious way, uh, from our wells or our municipal system, we can forward that story. But we have a choice. We could shift our role in this story in a way that helps shift the story of this place. So it's not a story of loss, but perhaps the story of what we can and are regaining. Uh, perhaps it's a story of achieving potential that we may not readily recognize in the moment, but we can certainly capitalize upon it.